How's it going? This is Pierre D'Alessandro. I'm Marco D'Alessandro. And I am Al Dente. We are Saucy TV, and this is Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. 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 Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian. Growing Up Italian podcast. Growing Up Italian. Woo! All right, guys. Thanks for coming all the way here. Yeah, no problem. How's the traffic? Pleasure. Sorry that we had to make you guys share the mics. No, nah, it's okay. We kind of expected, right? It's yeah. expected. We're used to it. <laughs> Pisha deal. Pisha deal with the mic. Though. Pisha deal. <laughs> you wasted no. Can you relax with that? <laughs> Thirty <laughs> seconds in. No time. We wasted. go way back, but you know something about you that just doesn't sit right with me. We'll, we'll get into it later. Yeah. No. It, it's a. I, we can go. I'll go buy Pisha deal. Yeah. yeah. Good, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's the only thing you can go buy. But, Maybe uh, we could upgrade the nickname. Instead said Pisha deal. It's like Bichelon. No, 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 no. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that'd be nice. Well, when we get there, we'll get there. You know, not right now. So, how's the drive in, fellas? It was bad. It was pretty bad. Nice. That's usually yeah. what we hear from yeah. people coming. It was like Brooklyn. two or three detours. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, so it was raining a lot. Uh, we had to pull over, use the bathroom. So, we get off the ramp, and then there, the road was destroyed. Completely so, they're shut down. Completely oh shut God. down. So, we have to like do a maze through all the side streets to but try to here. find our way, but we did it. We got parking right next to the building, so I'm happy about that. I was talking about it for like 15 minutes. A win's a win. <laughs> a win's a win. A win's a win. And it is a rainy day in New York, and I was worried about today because I saw all these uh, street signs of no parking. And in this neighborhood, when it's no parking, it's it means, not fun. It means no parking. There's already no yeah. parking, but when they tell you there's no parking, yeah. there's no parking. There's no parking. But oh, we're man. here, and we it's happening. It's been a long time coming because... Our relationship hasn't been the best, you know, like, but we're fixing it up. How yeah. many years has it been? Is it 10? It's, it's been 10, right? 10. Seems like 10. But how does it all, I feel like we always forget how it started, the, yeah. the beef. That's usually Italian arguments. Nobody really remembers what you yeah. argue about, but yeah. the put, pride is so much. Who moved the ketchup? It could be. Yeah. I, the I, sauce. I remember, uh, I, I remember one person, you know, soiling one mattress. But uh, <laughs> rumor, rumor has it, yeah. the stain is still there. God, seven years old. What do you need to do? The it mattress happens. is still Yo, around. Wait, the mattress is still around. Yo. Every Italian family has that, you know, that extended beef that you have no idea where it really started. It could have been a birthday party. It could have been yeah. someone's, you know, communion. But it's, you know, maybe like. They felt they got a little less in the envelope or something. Yeah, yeah exactly. I saw that one. I saw that video you guys did <laughs> where, you, where the ants came over. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and you guys immediately went into the kitchen to yeah. see who got five and who yeah. got ten. <laughs> this guy's a greedy bastard. He wants to split it. <laughs> I know. He was immediately. You gotta split you. the difference. <laughs> We're business partners, bro. Hell no. I thought that was great. Yeah. <laughs> who were the women? Who were the two women? Um, Patty and Patty. Those yeah. are really ideas. Did you know that? Oh my god! I didn't even realize it. You know what? <laughs> Just like right. you guys are our cousins. I haven't yeah. seen them in a long time. Same thing. I haven't seen them in a long time. No, but uh, yeah, they. Um, <laughs> how, quick, how quickly you forget? No, they, they're, right? they, they're um they're great. We're, we're, their um podcast is releasing this weekend, and oh good, look forward. They're really to funny. It. Yeah, they're like typical New York Italian women. Yep. I remember, uh, you know, when you guys started your channel, me and Sabino were like, "The hell, our cousins don't." come out to us they know we do italian stuff you know look at them being successful it was nice huh yeah. you finally reach out you want to be on the show <laughs> what, what, what changed your minds i don't get it you i mean and, and our def- we wanted to start collaborating because it's only right no you don't have to yeah. tell stop them being that. so hostile you don't have to tell them that as you can tell you can see who wants to make the piece and so who's still sent us a hundred dollars like, oh. yeah, I, I i know i, I, I saw <laughs> so, the, the statements mine is 300 i was like me 100 each <laughs> your your guys espresso machines a lot better than ours yeah, 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 we yeah. had to pull up yeah, you know it's been a long time you do time. have good espresso i mean yeah. the desserts too though you yeah, brought two cannoli and two sfogliadel. What are you going to do with that? <laughs> it's like some things never change with you. We, I swear to God. We nine in the car on the way over. Yeah, yeah. yeah I believe that. I don't for blame sure. you. As we said, the traffic was bad. We needed something to do. <laughs> but since we don't know exactly how the YouTube and social media stuff started, can you guys tell us a little bit uh, how it started? I think Pierre would... Pierre started it? Pierre started it all. And Pierre's the baby, right? right? Yeah, yeah, so if we're going way, way back. Way back. Way orange, back. Orange back to the days right. of uh, 
the my tiny little orange sixty dollar Walmart camera. Like everything that I filmed had an orange tint to it because it was, <laughs> that's just how it was. So that's back when we're making movies in our basement. Me, Marco, all of our cousins. We had this one movie idea. It was a uh, like. Fi- like finding the lost diamond or something, and the diamond yeah. was a tiny lampshade that got plugged into the wall because it had like a little bedazzle on it. That was literally our origins. Because I remember way back when I was like, I'm gonna be a movie director, and I was like five, so I'm walking around that's with the great, camera. Man. Yeah, so I mean, that's when I think about it, like that's the one thing that always just stuck, like the one constant I always wanted to do something in film because I just loved just making stuff. Capturing memories. Capturing memories, just creating ideas. And that's kind of really where it got into it. So uh, I'll leave it to Marco to uh, talk about how it uh, so, got into our origins. So so you you created the idea, but like when was it like, okay, let's post this? Oh, post this. Not for many, many years later. I uh, So you got a lot of deep cuts done. Oh, we you, probably, oh, yeah. you probably got the old stuff that you didn't even like. Yeah, there is a lot of stuff. I yeah. want to. We need to. That's go what you should computer. start getting into. Like my old my old stuff. computer we probably could. has has hundreds of videos and movies that you guys have done. Do you remember the photo booth mm-hmm. that feature? It still exists on the Mac, nice. but there's like photo booth, and you could start a video with a filter oh, or just yeah, 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 you would know. Yeah. That's right? like the on the laptop, like the first kind of feature. Yeah. And that was like revolutionary. And that is partly where we got our start. We would just start a video and we would have some sort of premise. And then like our sisters would be there. And of course we would ruin it because, you know, we're good at that. And uh, you just see that dynamic always existing even before we were conscious of it. It's crazy to see so many years later, like, wow, this is the origin. And we didn't even know what we were doing at the time and reflecting on it, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's, like that's amazing. In that video that Pierre was just talking about in the basement with all our cousins, like sorry we snubbed you guys on that invite for that video. Like but usual, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're used to that one. You were upstairs with the adults. We were downstairs <laughs> making movies. We were doing a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they were interviewing someone in the bathroom. <laughs> but it's true with that like photo booth. I remember when I first got like iMac, taking pictures with like the little like. Filters was like yeah, such yeah. a just seeing yourself, yeah, 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 yeah. seeing yourself back yeah. on the screen and being. A, yeah. They don't know that I used to watch at night. I, I would flip through my computer and just laugh. I mean, I would stay up. I couldn't go to sleep. I'd stay up till one in the morning watching everything they did, and they made me. It was funny. It wasn't just hey, the kids are cute. It was funny, funny stuff. Was it original like FaceTime on uh, <laughs> the iMac like that too? Yeah, it was FaceTime. I think Skype was before FaceTime. Or yeah, Skype, yeah, yeah, but. Yeah, but that like you used to have to do it like on the iMac. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we didn't know anything about technology back then. I'm uh, as cameras like started to develop. I'm walking around with my laptop like holding it like this yeah. for the camera, and we're <laughs> filming our little movies. It was just so funny. So, like how we really started getting into it was like uh, the the pandemic. That's when things started to. We had well, all this free time. You guys did Vine too, right? Well, eh, I not really. I had videos saved up for years that really weren't family based some of them could have been but for the most part it was just funny stuff that we've accumulated over the years like yeah. me grabbing a sorority formal cake or throwing the egg at the ceiling at hibachi just being a menace being yeah. a menace, menace to yeah. some menace degree to trying to get attention which yeah it it was just from maybe eighth grade up and then i remember i posted all of it and it was doing good and i was like wait you know i'm out what do we post now? And then it sort of just happened on its own. I was like, hey, I have this idea. Like, why don't we do it? Pierre was the first one to go about the creation. And I was the first one to start posting. And then we came together and, you know, started this machine. And Al Dente is the reason it worked. Well, so, so how did it start? Was it Pierre, Marco, then Saucy? Or was it Saucy first? Like, the, wh- when did Saucy TV that's come into play? so funny. So, we weren't Saucy TV. We were Saucy Fusili. Saucy that was Fusili. The, the... I like that original. name a lot. Yeah. I liked it, too. Let's, liked let's it order too. some while we're at it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we liked it, too. We liked it, too. The only problem with it was that every time somebody would look up Saucy Fusili, it'd be a cooking tutorial on yeah. YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're like, hold on. We, I we can see where that would be an issue. Yeah, yeah like... we're. we're 
because people would be like, what's your YouTube channel? I want to look you up. We'd be like, Saucy Fusili. And they'd be like, is, th- is this you? You're making penne a la vodka? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like no. <laughs> I'm like, no, but that looks good. But yeah. uh, was the reaction right away, like something that Well, the, you had your like TikToks popped? first. Yeah, we started on TikTok, and uh, it wasn't immediately successful. Like, every three or four videos, we'd have one that goes, like, slightly viral. But that was because it was, uh, it was like, our evolution, like, us learning. We were pretty much just throwing everything at the wall, seeing what stuck, mm-hmm. seeing what worked. And I remember uh, when I hit 100K on that, I was like, wow, like... I could really do this. Like, you know, this, this is something I want to do. This is, it seems to be going well. And to see like how far it's come since that it's, uh, it's almost unbelievable because I'm sure you guys know, like the bigger it gets, you know, the, the more problems you have to deal with. Also like the more, it gets easier to grow yeah. as time goes on because you you're more confident. You learn you know and you learn, doing. you learn like what works along the way yeah. too. Yeah. You learn it the hard way. Yeah. Get a base. Yeah. And um, I think uh, the way we rekindled was at uh, that event in Long Island. And, of course, like, I've recognized, like, your, your, honestly, your dad yeah. in the videos because uh, I forget which video. I Which video was the biggest one that blew up? I feel like there was, like, uh, one that Barstool posted. Like, Barstool, uh, they posted a few. Yeah, they posted things. a few of our stuff. But if we're talking Catalyst, like... The one thing that started everything, it would be the egg video. The egg what? video where... The, egg video. the, the egg. Yeah, the hibachi egg. Well, that's egg. Like the first thing that yeah. ever went viral. But if we're talking about yeah. Barstool... Yeah. What was, what was it for Barstool? I think they took the uh, the Harry Potter video where I... Uh, that's I, when he blew up. He I blew smashed up the crazy. vase. I I dressed up in the, the Harry Potter, the, the Gryffindor robes. Yeah. And then I dropped the vase... That was hysterical. That I was will I will say Pierre's dedication to dressing up is incredible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because like when he dresses up as like uh, one day's the chicken, what? the next day he's uh, oh, when, when he does like oh, the the, when he does like the zookeeper like with the, yeah. with oh, the short shorts, the safari, like, the yeah, safari yeah, 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 like he is a with wild ac- influencer. <laughs> yeah, his accent is dead on. He does great yeah. with that. I'm, I'm channeling and then the, my the inner rainbow. When, did you see the one when he comes in with a rainbow sequins suit? Into the restaurant? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was that's and a who, fun wait, one. You dress up as the bee, though, with, your, with, uh, with Aunt Donna, right? The, the, with the bee. Who dressed up as no, the bee? you were the fly. Or the fly. Oh, the fly, yeah. yeah. He was a fly. Yeah. Right? And also Don Focaccia. Don Focaccia. How many outfits do you guys have for content? Oh, my How much God. Time do you have? The, the, <laughs> my attic... And I li- recently is it up. is it organized? Like it, it's, organized. Yeah, it's organized, and, and it, it gets messy, and then it gets reorganized. But literally thirty feet of pole and shelves full of stuff, and there's still boxes that aren't even opened because they get they get an idea and they order everything, mm-hmm. and then yeah. it, it could just sit there for a while, and then it, yeah, I like that. Though. Eventually, yeah, it eventually gets. We're pretty similar with that. No, like we get an idea, and like yeah. it might take a little while to execute. Yeah, but, but then eventually we get to It's it. always floating. Yeah. Until you do it. And honestly, correct me if I'm wrong, but you haven't really collaborated with a lot of other influencers, no. right? No, it's no, It's all really. been in family, right? Yeah. yeah. And, and we're definitely looking forward to, like, we love collaborations. Like, we love being able to collaborate and work with other people. Finally, it took you guys long enough to get us here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it, it's really exciting because we... Love to be able to create and just sure. put so many minds to an idea, and yeah. it's just a great thing that we get to do. This, this is an easy collaboration. This is you are what we are. Yeah, you know, it makes this, sense. It make, it's just very, very simple. Yeah. It's really hard for us to uh, take certain brand deals or collaborate with people unless we see it as like it, it works because Got we, this is like our baby. Like we cherish what we're doing all together and. We never want to appear like, you know, oh, like we're selling out or yeah, like yeah, we're yeah. like trying too hard. Like we want it to be the best it possibly can be. And so that's why it's hard for us to say like, okay, yeah, we'll promote this, you know, water bottle. Yeah. Or like, Brand you know, deals especially. Yeah. 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 Well, we get, they get a lot of I them. mean, listen, if the water bottle's in the video, you know. It'll, it'll, <laughs> <laughs> this is why we don't even have labels. It does help. That's why we don't have labels. Here, yeah. everybody this knows. could be you. <laughs> if you want, this could be you. So, <laughs> you know, 
It's funny. Yeah. Everybody knows which bottle this is. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But for some reason, we hide it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is, but um, you know, I think hint, 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 we, hint. We, we get. I think we're on a, a similar. Um, as far as like taking bad brand deals, I would say me and Rock like have the same stance too because, like, our page is growing up Italian, right? Like, you can't just take any money. Not any, all money no. is good money, especially when you're trying to build. A brand, and that's like something we're very similar. Is like, it's so, all brand first, it's culture, almost. It's, all, it's so, all culture. It's yeah. culture, yeah. but it's like brand first. Yep. Yeah. Like, even though like our personal Instagrams are growing, but like, the brand is the most important thing. Yeah. You know, absolutely. True I, to it, you have to stay true to it. I want to mention one thing: we we just hit two million on Instagram, and a lot of the comments. Congratulations! Were, uh, yeah, thank you guys. Awesome. The, the point I'm not trying to say like, "Oh, cheer me on," you know what I mean? Yes, but you I, are. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nice to hear a clap from the family for once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But uh, the point I'm trying to say is, a lot of the comments were, I "Love what you guys are doing." Uh, as long as you don't make money off of us, like we appreciate it. Well, that's, that's Italian. So, like, <laughs> the only way we could keep the lights on is if we make some scuttles. It's yeah. not like you know what I mean. Yeah. It's never been a mission of me and Sabino to make money, but it has become, you know, you know a lifestyle for us. So, right. of course, we're making some money from this stuff. You guys are working hard. So, I don't get why yeah. people say that. Like, yeah. how do you expect the, the lights to stay on when... That's like, a great point that's you brought a, up. It's a form of entertainment, you yeah. know? Yeah. Like, it's free. It's on YouTube. Like, unless you have a Patreon, then, you know, you could give some people, a, you know, And you content. see the comments like, look at these guys. They're doing nothing and you're making them rich. Like, it... it doesn't work unless you put everything into it. Yeah, yeah, they don't right. understand how much work and effort and energy goes yeah, into you're it. You're totally right. Like take take a look at all this. Take a look at this setup you guys got going on here. Like this is a great thing you guys got here. This this shit's not free. Yeah. Not free. And uh but this is all you do. I yeah. mean everything you do. I mean, uh, you put everything, and that all you do. Nah, we, put, we do a couple other cuz you know, this hasn't made us money for a long time. Like we that I think this is uh so basically when it comes down to it, we've done this for free for a long time. I think we would keep doing it for free. But in order to sustain what we built, we have to make some kind of money to do this. Right. And it gets a little tricky when it comes to neighborhood stuff. Like the guy that owns like the car wash down the block is like, hey, why don't you post me? Yeah. We get that a lot. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like me. <laughs> like, yeah. like, yeah. The older, not to be rude here, but the old, ge the older generation, I don't think they understand the concept of social media. Not that they don't understand no. the concept no. of it, but they don't respect the art. And I'm not saying you. I'm saying like, Wait, the, why are you people looking at me when we say the fucking <laughs> <older generation? laughs> I, I want to say, okay, I want to say, the, the gen older generation the doesn't the understand. The generation before us. Right? Yeah, yeah. For us. They, Gen X. Uh, like, Gen X. Gen, <laughs> they don't understand that this is a job. They think it's like um Game. we're hanging out all day. Yeah. And yeah. Listen, we, we do this for fun. You know what I mean? When he started on TikTok, I would I was shaking my head. I'm like, this yeah, kid's I, got I remember. I'm I like, remember this kid's too. gotta work. This is no <laughs> yeah. good. I mean I, well, yeah. My yeah. dad my dad too. Exactly. But what changed it for me was when I watched him, how hard he worked at it, and it was his passion, and I said, this kid's never worked this hard before. In, in my life. I've never seen him work this hard. Yeah. And the time that he put in, and how he, he, it was everything. It was everything to him. He needed it to be perfect. And I said, that's, that's all you can ask for. If, if he can turn this into something, then, you know. We're getting, a, we're getting sentimental, but yeah. I do want to congratulate you guys on how far you've come. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you, guys. Us. And Thank you so much. I give you guys credit because... The first collaboration was with us, and you guys are like deep out in Long Island where there isn't like an access to a lot of other people to collaborate with. Because when you could like get somebody to collaborate with, you kind of like get all their people to see your stuff. And then again, yeah. and then again, and again, and again, and again. So you guys have been doing that like on your own. It's homegrown. Super, yeah. And the whole family's super, involved super hard. too. Yeah. 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 The whole but family's on board. It, works, everything we it can. works as well as it does. Let me ask you. Have we're you and, and Zia thought about like having another kid to keep this thing going? Too, you know? <laughs> we were trying to, you know, get a, yeah. a little brother out. Of <laughs> that would be honestly a little one would be great for content. Yeah, right? you know, it would drop them off here. <laughs> so, well, we work hard because we know at the end of the day, it's either we keep doing this or we got to go do construction with him. Yeah, oh, what man. was that like? Can you talk Doing a little bit about yeah. Oh, do we have some stories for you? 
So, I mean... Is it like the hold the flashlight? Yeah, like, yeah. Life so, before al dente. What, yeah. what are we doing here? <laughs> Pro, all right, this is pre-al dente. So, <laughs> we... This is raw box pasta. Oh, okay. <laughs> al dente always existed. Yeah. He existed since the beginning of the universe. He was omnipresent. <laughs> <laughs> when we were starting, you know, to grow up in our teenage years, he would bring us to work with him. And obviously, we were, you know... Uh, useless, <laughs> somewhat <laughs> useless. We had no drive or direction, anything. He would just try to instill <clears throat> the traits that made him successful in us. And we would be standing there with our hands in our pockets, he's like hands out your pockets. And we do it. And then he's like, now do something. And then we're like, okay. And like trying to help. Him. He's like, get out of the way. Typical, <laughs> typical. Yeah, yeah. My dad's the same way. Can well, never do anything right. No, it, it was just, it was just really funny because it's anyone that has a father or a parent in construction, they, they understand. They're going to know exactly what I'm talking about when I say this. We just show, we show up to the job with him. We're not kids anymore. We are also 40-year-old men. Yeah. Uh, we call them free labor. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we'll, we'll, be, we'll be 13. The only thing we get out of it is a, is a nice lunch, nice pasta lunch. <laughs> a nice Genoa salami uh, <laughs> sandwich. But I'm really grateful for it, though, because it did teach us a lot of things. Like, we had a lot of fun together, That's why your too. work ethic is uh, the way it is, too. I think so. I mean, I didn't know exactly what I wanted to channel You guys work so hard not to do that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, that's what he says. He's like, I have two broken shoulders and two broken knees. Don't do this. Yeah. <laughs> Go to school. Yeah. So, I mean, growing up, I was like, I was never scared of my dad because he, like, because he's an amazing guy. He's the, kidding? look, he, I, I wasn't... <laughs> He's until, the best guy around. Until certain point. Yeah, it's not, it's not that he's not scary. It's that there was never reason to be scared of this great man. I was scared of him. And then <laughs> I go to work with him. So it's just funny because I'm just there. I'm working, maybe moving some stuff. And then someone comes to the job or messes something up. And it's, I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm like 12. And I'm watching my dad just blast somebody for screwing up. And I'm, I've never seen this side of him before. And I'm just like... <laughs> so I, I, I go home. I do all my chores. I get everything done. I remember the day where you brought me and Frankie to move all that sheet rock oh, into that. that guy's backyard who's <laughs> yeah, building yeah. a pool house. How but old are you for reference purposes? 15? I'm in the 15. seventh grade then. I remember. I was 14, 15. Yeah. We had a tool. It was like that thing that you... It was 5'8 sheet rock. It was heavy. It was two sheets at a time. And they had to carry it probably... 50, 60 feet from the truck to the backyard. And up a tiny staircase. Yeah. And it was funny because it's, if, unless you know how to move that stuff, mm -hmm. it's, it's very, it's, it takes yeah, its toll. It was so awkward. They left it one arm longer than the other the next <laughs> that day. <laughs> nothing, nothing says it timed out like move sheet rock. <laughs> I think I passed out in the air to my mattress <laughs> after we were done with yeah, that day. Yeah, they would come home from work with me and I'd sit down and, you know, get ready to eat, and they're gone. I'm like, where? My wife would, be, Donna would be like, where are the boys? And I'm like, they're sleeping. They would not wake up till the next morning. How did you do that for that long? Because you have to. You have, you have to. no you choice. Do you do it because you have to. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. How'd you not hate us? <laughs> Who said I didn't hate you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never said that. That's like a crazy. So, I saw like the vlog stuff from Italy you guys did. Yeah, the Mafia yeah. Coast stuff. I loved all that stuff. How was that? That oh was an amazing God. trip. It was, that was so the best week of my life. We were there, uh, and we were there for about three days. That was my first time in Italy, and I'm going to say right now that you go to Italy, you need a month at least. Yeah. You need a month a to month. do Italy. God bless. Yeah, yeah. to be honest, no, no, like no, no. Oh, then you man. then you start turning. I'm going. To I'm, going I'm going for two days. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, ideally, days, you want days. yeah. <laughs> ideally, you want to go for at least one week if you can go. Yeah. like three days. Yeah. I think the sweet spot is ten days. Yeah, like, that's about yes. right. I agree. If you've I never agree. been, if you a do, month is nice. Yeah, if you do 10, 12 days because two days of travel and you could actually spend yeah. anywhere between eight, ten days, you really get to feel a good feel. Yeah, I say ten we, days, two cities, yeah. ideal. Even three if you want to yeah, be yeah, like yeah. a little ambitious. When we when we landed there, landed there. When we got there, it was amazing to see how many people recognized us and Bruh, came, and came was, up. Oh my god! It was up. it was. We insane. didn't take ten feet, ten steps without someone coming up to us. Pictures. This. It was really welcome. That's awesome. Very very. Welcoming. It was insane because we're in Italy and we're like, 
miles and miles so far away from our home. And they're like, hey, I seen you. I'm like, how? Yeah. Nah. And it's, it's just I mean bro the views yeah. the views come from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's just an air, incredible yeah. feeling just yeah. that we made it across the pond. Was that a, I mean? a mafi this happened? So we did uh, yeah. uh, a little mafi, we but we in landed Greece. in Sorrento. We landed you in flew? Sorrento. Well we took a first we were on a cruise and we yeah. hit a couple of spots we went, went to Greece, right? Yeah. And then when we got to Naples on the cruise, we got off the cruise. We, cru- we told them we're not, you know, we, we took off. Disembark. We disembarked. We got our stuff and we left. Why? Because you just fed up with the cruise? No, we. it was our intention to go into Naples, stay there, and then stay for a few more days. We yeah. extended the trip. Yeah. Gotcha. So at that point, we, we started using, you know, uh, vehicles to get around and whatnot. You know, so taxis. you rented a car? We had, a, we had taxis to take us and we had uh, a driver. And... Um, and that was where we really, really got to enjoy ourselves a lot more because we did everything on our own accord. We did yeah. what we wanted yeah. to do. It was incredible. The hotel we stayed at, it was called uh, a Grand Vesuvio. And you look out the window, Mount Vesuvius is like across the street. It's just, yeah. it was just insane. I've never had a feeling where I've been, never been to a place before and just felt like I was home. That's, yeah. that's how was, I feel in Italy. That was it your was first so time? Weird. Yeah, that was and my first time. Everybody else's as well? Or? Uh, they went before me. I actually studied abroad in what was, what was the name? <laughs> <laughs> that's my joke every time. <laughs> I had to get that one That's out. the first time I've ever heard that. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Get out, really? I live under a rock. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my clips up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> what was no, that where, was good. Where did you start? I stayed in Rome. Use it, use it. Oh, yeah, nice. That's See, I envy you for that because I wish I did something like that. Yeah, same. It was... The most amazing experience. Sorry to my dad's credit card. Yeah, it was an amazing experience because I, I tried to get in touch with him. I couldn't get a hold of him. The only way I knew where he was is my America Express bill. <laughs> airline, you know ticket to, right. airline ticket to here. Airline ticket. He flew all, half, all over half of the world. While every, every weekend? Every weekend. Yeah. Good for you. But to see, like, if you're if you're in Rome, like, London's, what, an hour flight. Yeah, so everything's, whatever, like, everything's close. Listen, I, I, I looked at it, but I laughed. I hey, said, but, this is great. But he you found know? himself. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, I'm I'm working on paying back everything I owe. I'm like two percent okay. there. It doesn't I need oh, like nice. if, That's good. if yeah. I live for hundred seventy years. They say Rome years, wasn't built in a day. <laughs> yeah. I'll be square after hundred seventy years. I did the math. Oh, yeah, so for anybody that for everybody that's never experienced studying abroad, how was that experience in Italy? It honestly changed my whole perspective of life because it's just you're immersed in an entirely different culture and you feel proud because I just felt in touch with, you know, Italy because all my life I would watch uh, my grandpa talk about Italy and, you know, how passionate he was about food and uh, the the team and the whole culture, the whole culture. And even you talking about it growing up and then just being there, it's like, wow, this is everything they talked about. And this is like, this, this is, is where real. I come from. Yeah, it's yeah. real. I think and that's why it's so important to connect to your roots all the time. It's so important. And you had a, an amazing experience doing so, and you learned in the in the process. What did you study? I stu- I was studying. Uh, yeah, what did you study? <laughs> I don't even remember. He literally, he literally, he literally studied abroad. Study Fusilli? I, I studied some <laughs> broads. I, <laughs> I, nice. I didn't do much studying in Italy, to say the least. I turned around. I'm a 4.0 grad school student. Maybe undergrad was God bless. the best So, So when you when you do like the study abroad stuff, it's like you take one class, right? Actually, oh, it's a weird structure. You take a bunch of classes, but the classes are like three days a week and also like 40 minutes long. It's very Incredible. strange. It's Incredible. more for the experience. I think yeah. it's more for the experience. Yeah. yeah. But he came back from there and hit school. Now they both... They both actually teach at the school. That's great. Yeah. What did you, drums. as far as like change wise, like how did you change after? Did you like go in there not knowing how to do laundry and then all of a sudden you know how to do laundry? He still doesn't know how to do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> like like I, I stuff like how. that. I want to know like how you adapt because was that like the first time you left the house and were like fending for your own? I mean, I did live at school. I lived at St. John's, which is, you know, not that far from where we are on the islands, but it, it was far enough away to be on my it's own. It's a happy medium in the sense that uh, I'm like, you know, if I don't get up and get food right now, I'm going to starve and no one's going to bring it to me. So yeah, then, yeah. you know, I, I go to the dining hall and it made me miss so much the home cooking because you just get 
like sick from eating that kind of like buffet food all the time and it makes you appreciate it more but i guess uh when i went to italy and came back i did have uh more autonomy in the sense of i knew uh how to coordinate my day on my own a little bit better it did force me into being more of an adult because at that time i was how old was i maybe like 20 or 19 you wanted to appreciate things more yeah. yeah, I appreciated things more, and I cost my dad less money since then. Well, debatable. Well, speaking of dad, now we got to know the story of Al Dente. You know where I can get a fresh quality pizza with the freshest ingredients? I'm talking like homemade dough, pecorino romano grated in house. Of course. Where? Cuz Anthony's Cold Fire Pizza and Wings. That cold fire is at the heart of who they are. Oh. They're that spot that's located all in the Northeast, and they have a bunch in Florida, right? Yep. Man, I love when you have a good recommendation for once. Crispy, crunchy, savory, and sweet. Order what you want on Uber Eats. Listen, guys, from now to the end of the year, December 31st, on the Uber Eats app, you go to Anthony and some Panini shop, and you get a nice $25 off. When you use the code Panini. You gotta use the code Panini. Terms apply. See app for details. We're very excited to announce a long-term partnership with the Soto Gastronomia out from Australia. These guys got a really, really interesting restaurant uh, concept where all their profits go to all these Italian charities. The Soto has a very interesting story. So they're first-generation Italian-Australians. They're basically us in Australia. The Soto was created in their parents' and grandparents' honor so that they can pay their legacy forward. 100% of their proceeds goes to people in need, charities, and the arts. DeSoto will be supporting us this year, so you know the content's going to be even better. Bro, and who knows? Maybe at some point we're going to have to take a trip down on that. I was always curious how the Italian Australians made food. It's time we find out. I had that name even come up, Al Dente. All right, so... But we all know what Al Dente means, right? Yeah. Yeah, So it goes like this, basically. Um, I'll tell you the average restaurant experience with this man is not always pleasant, so... uh, we, we go, anytime we go out to eat, like... You are the most feared man in the restaurant industry. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know about that, but... He, 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 walks in, he walks into a restaurant, you could hear a pin drop. Um, there he is. There all, he the, is. all the chefs take a gasp. He has a... He usually, make, he usually has a, a friend in the back that knows his order in advance. It's like Ramsey coming into your restaurant. Yeah. Um, he always does ask. Yeah, so we'll be at the table, and then he'll be like... Al dente, you make the pasta al dente. They're like, yeah, and he's like, if it's not al dente, I will send it back. <laughs> and, well, uh, you have to question them if they, cause some places pre cook their pasta, and that's the first question. Yeah, is it out of the box or is it pre cooked? And sometimes it's, the, as soon as they scratch their head and they have to go ask, you know that it's pre cooked. So then you have to spend, send a special message back saying, I want it fresh out of the box, and then you have to know what al dente means. And then sometimes they'll put al dente on, the, like some of the menu, some of the receipts say al dente about 15 times on it. And then they get it right. The places That's we go crazy. to, often yeah. they get it right. But the places that don't get it, it gets sent back. The, the shop downstairs, like we get people that order sometimes, they'll be like, they'll order like a bagel toasted with butter. And I'll be like, toasted with butter, toasted with butter, toasted with butter, toasted with butter. And I'll put like on my story, like, you think they wanted it toasted with butter? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, so that's literally that's what him? it's like. That's, him. that's literally dente? him. It's, it'll say al dente. The receipt will be 30 feet long just because it'll say al dente like 200 times. But the reason al dente can be was uh, like when we got our PlayStation 4s, me and my brother, um, we were playing Grand Theft Auto and he wanted to play with us. So I was like, and you got to have a, a nice. network name. And I was like, make it al dente. So that's kind of how it came to be. And ever since then, sometimes I forget what his, re- his real first name is because I just call him out. GTA 4, a nice PG-13 game, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And he, he, he does have his own PlayStation. <laughs> oh, does he? That we took. Yeah, yeah. But they My, took back. So. GTA will teach you the same amount of studying abroad. <laughs> it like, will. It's full circle. He might have learned more in GTA than studying abroad. <laughs> Our channel is based off of GTA. Like, we use that music for so long. Long it's in the a, build up, it's, you know? like it's home. It's just so iconic. We love it. Yeah. I remember the original introduction was Frankie. We were in Florida with our, our cousin, and we were 10 years old. And oh, he's cousin like, Frankie, yeah, yeah, cousin yeah, Frankie, yeah, yeah. you know, I've seen him in a while. Yeah. Yeah. He, we got to catch up with him soon. We got to get him to come to New York. But he brought out 
Grand Theft Auto. He's like, you guys want to see something? I was 10 years old. And we started playing it. And I'm like, this is what my life needs to be about. I'm not going to I know the cheat codes still. I memorized yeah, them. Those like are the great. The cheat pack. codes are legendary. When, when I learned like the whole like girl thing in Grand Theft Auto, I was like, yeah. I need this. Like I bought, I bought a PlayStation. <laughs> Before that, I had an Xbox. I was like playing Halo. But then once I saw it, I was like, nah, I need that. Halo was fun systems, too. You know, it was, that was fire, man. It really was. Those were the good old days. I played Halo too. We would all like... I remember those summers where it was just like, that was when a bunch of people would like go online and play together. Those like the eight person parties, everyone yeah. screaming over but each see, other. Before like playing online, we used to do like on Fridays, all my buddies, we would go to like one friend's house and he had like a little basement and it was like a setup like this. Like there's a TV here and then a TV in that room and we would just run a wire and it'd be like 4v4. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, oh, land parties, yeah. 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 So... That was the original. Then, like, on the first online gaming was crazy. Like, I remember how hard it was finding games. Like, you need the computer to, like, find a game. And then, like, it was wild, man. Yeah. That, that was gr Halo was, like, Halo changed online gaming forever. Oh, it did. You ask anybody, like, what they think, like, the peak of online gaming was, they're going to say, like, Halo 3, Halo Reach. Yeah. That's how... It, it was just I think Halo time. 2 actually. I know, that's the one that's I never got to. No? I never got to Halo 2. Rocco's brother is actually like a professional Halo player, no? <laughs> no. Really? He's not oh, yeah? He's not professional. He just, no. he just plays it. I was going to say, he's making money out of it. <laughs> no, nah, nah, he ain't making no scuttles. <laughs> he's all really, he's really good, though. I feel like everybody in, you know, my brother is 22. Anybody in that age range and lower is like obsessed with gaming. Now, you know? They still I'm, play it at 2 o'clock in the morning. I can hear them. Yeah. And I've seen the video. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that one they did that to uh, yeah. relive their old, old memories, but they still play it late at night. And yeah. sometimes I'll, I can't sleep. I go back over. And I mean, I still play too. There's, I don't think there's no shame in that, honestly. No, I don't, I don't think there's shame. As long as you know, you know, what do you have to do the next day? You're responsible. Yeah, as long as you're getting things it's done. It's a good, it's a, for men, yeah, it's especially, I feel like it's a good uh, comfort zone, like a safe spot. The problem so, is, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I don't. It's not comforting if you're like getting destroyed all the time. No, you only like, want to win. You're playing the wrong game. <laughs> exactly. Then, right? like, like, you know, like whenever we were playing Call of Duty, it's like, all right, I get fucking killed 30 times in one kill. <laughs> like it's more aggravating. And, and it's I always like sleep. a 14 year old kid who's calling you a noob. And yeah, it, it just yeah. hurts even worse then. You're like, where are your parents? Those cod lobbies are toxic, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah, they, yeah, they really were rough. <laughs> like, you, let's say my buddy here, Pick, he wants to play 2K. Like, can, I can never beat him. So what fun is it to just go <laughs> abuse me? Yeah. Like, oh, go I, oh, I mercyed you. I mercyed you. Like, that was, that no, was like, that's not fun. Yeah. You ever play, like, the fighting games, like, Tekken or more? That's fun. No, like, uh, those are the I, worst. Those are more fun. I can't, I don't like them because it's just button. Yeah, yeah. It's just button mashing. And I had one of my <laughs> friends, he's like, yo, play this game with me. I'm not even that good. He's, he's, he's kicking my ass seven ways to Sunday at the game. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't even get a hit, on, hit in on him. But, uh. In, I got a statistic for you. In Modern Warfare what 3, <laughs> Modern Warfare Great 3, I, I played the game for like a weekend or two weekends. I got zero kills and got killed like 30 times every game. And I was like, I'm never playing this again. Marco checks the leaderboard like a week later. It turned out... I was in the bottom 100 players <laughs> in the world, <laughs> in like globally. That's bottom like 100 players right who ever lived <laughs> on Wait, that game. 30 million something people are playing this game, and I'm in the mm. bottom 100 of all of them. Yeah, but Tekken, the Tekken fighting games, classic, bro. We we all right. We gotta we gotta get a like some gaming system. Yeah, you in got here. like a PS5 or something. Have you ever played? I, we have. I have. We have an Xbox. We have my old Xbox. No, but my sister. My sister has Xbox. She don't use. Maybe we should put that in here. Uh, we'll send you a saucy TV PS5. Oh. You have those? No, but <laughs> we can put it. Maybe one can we put that on the budget out there? Then? <laughs> <laughs> They've sent out at least ten of those things, right? Ten. Oh really? Oh, uh, we did PS5. a couple giveaways. Yeah. If we put a PlayStation here, what would be the best room to put it? I think in here. You think? Yeah, I think it would be fire in here. Be the, we the have one death, hour. The uh, death of productivity. We'll never, we'll never <laughs> we could, we could do that right after this. Like, play Tekken games. Yeah. Like, see who would win. All right. What are the most important video games if you had to, like, buy a console? Like, if you only could buy three games. Super Smash Bros. GTA is... Oh, that's... I'm, all right. I'm saying if we buy, like, PlayStation or Xbox. GTA. You gotta have GTA. Right, GTA. 
FIFA. Gotta have FIFA. Bro, FIFA, FIFA would have us like. That was the closest we ever all came to fighting. We need to to do that next first. That's an important upgrade. Yeah, that's true. We we gotta get FIFA. What is it? FIFA has us screaming our heads off, and we're 23, 24 years old. It's not even like we're 12 anymore. Did you guys ever play FIFA, and you're in a penalty shootout, and then your friend, like, puts a bag over his hands so you can't see which way he's shooting the penalty? Or, or, like, (laughs) shoots backwards, like, (laughs) looking that way? That's what we would have to do. I'm going left. I'm going left. We used to... Take like a tiny little sheet. We used to take like a tiny little sheet and we would tape it to the TV because it gets oh split God. screen. Yeah. So one player would be under the sheet and one player would be over it. And we'd what, be doing what's it called? Kids. Screen watching? I yeah, used to yell. Yeah, I used to yell yeah. my brother, older brother, for that because he was like he knew I'm around the corner somehow. And I would be <laughs> I'm like mentally, I have to know I play legit. Yeah, like I'm yeah. not a cheater, so I can't look at his side of the screen. And he would just always track me. I'm like, bro, there's no way you knew I was you there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and guy, man. But we were talking a little bit about the national team before. And I saw you guys went to the game in Florida. How was that? That was amazing. Was I'm just thing. seeing Italy in the United States, it was, you know, it reinvigorated that feeling in me. Like when we were watching No No, yeah. watch the 2006 World Cup, like one of my earliest core memories, like just watching my grandpa during that game. That's what made me like realize the importance of it. Like yeah. how, he was, <laughs> I he remember, the game. no, he could not watch. I think he probably didn't watch he like 80 not. minutes of the game. Like he was <laughs> at his back turned to the TV. He was like, oh my God, like just going crazy. Out. Yeah, yeah, that game was nuts. Oh, yeah. I remember every minute of that game. You remember the Zidane penalty? Yeah, of course, and, of course. Oh yeah, he, he, he um, who scored Matarasso? Matarazzi Matarazzi. scored. So so Zidane scored on the penalty. He hit the crossbar. It barely went in. in. Yeah. Do you remember No No? I started crying when he scored. I I was like, oh, it's over. This whole dream is over. Since we won, since we won, all right, it it went in. It went in. Well, obviously it went in. Obviously, yeah. Yeah, it bounced in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't. I didn't think so when I saw. Yeah. I was so jerked. If, if they lost to this day, I would say it didn't go in. It could be three feet in the net, and I'd be like, <laughs> "Nah, it's not, not in." Yeah. Um, my God, when when Zidane had by Matarazzi, my grandpa, he lost his mind. Yeah, that was he won the World Cup for us. Or yeah, like yeah. interrogating. That him. was the assist of the century, yeah. right there. Yeah, because was. like that was. the best player in the world. The team. Yeah, he was. He was amazing. I mean, Zidane was an amazing, amazing player, and. Uh, yeah. He would have buried whatever penalty, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. and yeah. and then we were playing them down a man the rest of the game, yeah. you know. So it's that Italian defense right there. Yeah, smart. smart. I defend. Smart smart yeah. All. Yeah, I, I remember <laughs> when I was younger watching my father watch TV on uh, soccer, and at one point Italy had won a game that was very important to him. He jumped up, and there was a chandelier hanging over his head, at where he was watching the game, and he hit the chandelier. He was so happy. Then it shattered. <laughs> like oh my four of the globes came flying off and shattered all over the place. But he didn't stop. He didn't miss a beat. Everything <laughs> exploded around him and he was still yeah. watching the game. And that I game. Saying, you know, that was game that? that we went to was absolutely incredible in Fort Lauderdale. It was just so weird seeing them there. I was like, is, is this well, really the first, them? The first goals were like, you know, you know, they were okay. But then when they came back to win, that was... Yeah. That, that game was a little game. sloppy, I'll yeah. be honest. No, but yeah, how was, was the crowd? There a lot of Italians there? Oh, my God. No, I think we were outnumbered. Yeah, a lot of Italians. It was Italy wait, wait, versus on, Venezuela. I felt we were outnumbered. I think there was more... Uh, yeah? Because Venezuela. Venezuela... There's also a lot of Italians in Venezuela. Yeah. So, I don't know. It could be so... Every time I, I heard the roaring of the crowds... But, you know, who knows? You can't count. I mean, why was why more Ecuadorians at the yeah, Jersey there, game? Yeah, there definitely yeah. was, but there's still a lot of Italians. It was nice and refreshing to see. Oh, it was loud. But yeah. why the Florida one? Were you guys just there and you happened to... Well, we have season tickets and they... they right to the, Miami. Right, into oh, Miami. Oh, and they, they gave you guys tickets? Well, that was actually... That's not part of the tickets, right? No. Oh, no, no, no yeah. Didn't we get, like, a little priority since we have the season tickets? We did have priority access to the tickets because we bought the Inter-Miami season tickets. I remember... Was one, it pre-Messi or... We found out Messi was going to enter Miami when we came back from a run. Like me and Pierre were running and we came back and my sister was like, Messi's going to enter Miami. We like, we're like beating we sweat. Yeah. We almost couldn't even breathe. And we're like typing in, like getting season tickets. And uh, well, we must sig- have been through the roof then. Oh my yeah. God. It, it was sold so out guys, in like five you seconds. You guys fly back and forth for games? We yeah. have done that twice. Yeah, yeah, I think so times. far. We're selling a lot of the tickets, but... Uh, we think it's worth it because, you know, we're getting, uh, it, it seems like a good investment. We're getting uh, the money back, especially uh, 
We have a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. and the times that we do go down you know there, what, it it, make, it's you, really fun. Realistically, you can't put a dollar amount on the memories. Yeah. 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 This is one of the reasons that what we're doing now, being documented on, on forever, on video. Yeah. This lives here forever, so be careful what you say. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> it's, uh, it's something you can look back at. You know, I have memories of my family, and, and that's what it is, memories. Yeah. You have fo- old photo albums. They're going to have things to look, literally look back yeah. and, and yeah. watch. We watch, got a. They watch it live. Yeah. Our grandkids are gonna think we're so stupid. Yeah, well, they're yeah. gonna think what's wrong. <laughs> or they're gonna think we're amazing. Yeah, we don't know yet. But uh, we got a family down in Florida too. Cousin Frankie, he's down in Florida, so he comes to the games with us. Uh, we we make a huge thing out of it. We spend time in South Beach, Fort Lauderdale. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's Miami's really always a good time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. There's good restaurants in South Beach. That's how was how was the yeah. game in? Uh, yeah, that's a real Vice City, right? Vice City was man. How was how was the game in Jersey? Um, that game was really uh, mid, <laughs> if I'm gonna say. Like, like, the, state, like the, the parking t- lot. Of what? Was no, the game was like energetic, and I liked watching it. But most of like the game was just kind of sloppy, in my opinion. I don't know. I I thought that they. Italy had 80% of the possession, and they should have won, like, 6-0. to zero. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, not wrong. Yeah. I, I just think for, for me and Sabino especially, it's been 19 years since they played in America. You guys saw them first when they were in, in Florida. Then being in New York, bro, that felt like a World Cup game. Yeah. 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 Like, I, I don't know yeah, if I'm I being dramatic. Bad. The tailgate before was awesome. So many people that we met had a good time eating sandwiches. Who's throwing cannoli down your throat? Who's doing yeah. this? Who's doing that? Have it was just, a, it was so refreshing to see so many passionate Italians, Italian Americans, or wherever they were from come together, enjoy the game, and literally treated it like it was a qualifying match or an actual tournament match. It, it was a lot of fun. It's an unforgettable experience for me. I, think, I love it. Sure. I think for a lot of people, because I seen Italy in 2014 in the World Cup. So they won the first game, and then I got there, and they lost the next two. And one of those games, uh, Suarez, Big Collini. Right? Yeah. Like, I was at that game. and uh, Oh, my God. I can I, only imagine the Italians. Like, so I've been to those two games, and then, like, when you travel to see Italy in games like that, you almost feel like you're a warrior. Yeah. Like, like you, yeah. like you gotta like show up for the team yeah. and like be ready to fight for them. Almost like it's like, it's it's like a weird. It's like hard to explain what it means. Like, and um, I think a lot of people it was like the first time like experience seeing Italy live, and it's way different than watching a world, cup, a world cup being at a world cup game is a very intense thing a, a very especially if you you love your team and you're you know you're supportive of your team you yeah. you feel like you said you you're there for a reason yeah there? like you're there to fight for yeah. like i was like almost fist fighting uruguayans after the game <laughs> <laughs> like like i was ready and there was there were a lot of fights it was there in were... brazil it was in south america and there was not a lot of italians at that world cup mm-hmm. no. but like I was talking so much smack because Uruguay has two World Cups. But it was like, like... In the 30s. 19, yeah, yeah 1930, I think they right? won the first one. So they would like talk so much smack after. Like, ah, I'm like, ah. Yeah. I was yeah. like... They don't have any like, you know? World Cups. That's, what the, that's a typical Yankee fan mentality. But still, man. though. But still. <laughs> if I did that, oh, he's a Yankee fan, 27. But but World you could Cups do that. are different. <laughs> that's like winning world wars. You could brag about that forever. Yeah, that's like, true. Yeah. That's true. It's different. It's yeah, the, totally the way. It's harm and cloud. Yeah, that's that's yeah. World Cups forever. Yeah. But yeah, and um, yeah, man, uh, it, that was just a great experience. I, I just want to check with Pick. How, is it picking up that? Uh, no, audio's still good. Okay. On this. Um, that, no, there's like a motor outside. Or like power washing, like yeah. yeah. That's that time of year. That everybody's washing their driveway. Yeah, I hear it. Yeah, yeah, go. Let's we'll take a quick little break. Take two. Take How two. How many minutes are we at? Is your window open? open? No. Um, and when I was saying uh, the game was mid, before I meant like the game. Yeah, the game itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah, the yeah. experience of being there. I would pay the same amount of money, if not more, to go back and be. I was yeah. like right at. That was the only game I ever been right at the front. It's like in the front yeah, row. You guys had great seats. It was awesome, and uh, me and Christina were sitting like right where uh, the players. Uh, What's Italy's winger's name? Which one? Uh, he plays on the left. He's a young kid. What, what team does he play for? Um, oh, I don't know. Zaniolo? Maybe. He play, uh, Zaniolo plays in like England now. 
It might have been Zaniolo. I was yelling at him the whole time. I'm like, what number did he? I'm like, he... hang out with my girlfriend. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> I was saying that to, at the Florida game. I was saying to the, we were right above the Italy bench. Hang out with like, my girlfriend. Yeah. I was like, date my sister. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice, like, brother. Nice. <laughs> what else can I offer you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so pops. Now that Pierre's not here, who's the favorite? Be honest. Yeah. Oh, I have no favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, you know what? It's definitely one of the girls. You know, no, you yeah, know what? It has I, to be. They get the most we've leniency. Spoke, we've spoken about this before. It's like there's always a, a firstborn dynamic in the family, but there's times where at every given point you feel a, 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 such a connection to one of the children, and it does flip around sometimes, but I can honestly, honestly say I don't, I don't think there is really a, a favorite. I, I get I'm cooked. We get along. <laughs> Him and I have the same um, thought pattern on a lot of things, and that makes us uh, gives us a bond. But Pierre put me can put me on the ground with it, making me laugh, and that's to me is everything. I'm so proud he like got up to go to the bathroom now, though. <laughs> that's a big that's a big step from when we were kids. You know? yeah. Usually, I would have just sat and let it happen. <laughs> Well, Pops, that's a good answer. Yeah. That's like Family Feud. Good answer. Good, good answer. answer. Good answer. Pierre is the overall favorite. He's completely lying. Disregard. Well, he's the director. If if you guys don't pick him as a favorite, nothing yeah. happens. Pierre's well, the overall no, favorite. Pierre gets in the least trouble. Let me, let me see this. I'll I'll, I'll <laughs> Pierre this gets away with stuff because he's responsible and because uh, he never got in trouble. No, no I'll, youngest, I'll, I'll, youngest. I'll, I'll put it to you this way. Yeah. I'm not that great. They all just suck. Ah. <laughs> the bar is yeah, so, so low. <laughs> so I'm here, barely behind the bar, but they they can't even see the bar anymore. To them, it's a tiny little blip. Nice, nice. All we're asking is just you're, suck a little bar. You're that guy in the family, <laughs> huh? <laughs> I was. I'm not. A, I'm not some great overachiever. They were just chronic. Oh, we never said that. Let's kidding, just clar clarify that we never said that. So, so what's the family dynamic life like at home? What are, what are you guys doing? Give me a scenario and I'll tell you about it. Uh, all right, you guys go home after this podcast. What, what's going go, on? First things first, we're, we're getting more coffee. We, we drink like eleven cups of coffee every day. Not, not true. Let's get you guys wired. Yeah, <laughs> let's take like eight shots of espresso. Right? Oh, well, <laughs> yeah, let's okay. see what happens. I don't know if you want to see that, but <laughs> the, I'd be getting up to go to the bathroom a lot more. But uh, so basically. We leave here, per se. Uh, we're going to talk about what we're going to eat for dinner for about 45 minutes. We're going to eat before we eat dinner. Yeah. Well, the pre-dinner snack. First dinner. Yeah, first, first dinner. dinner. So we'll probably leave here. We'll go home. We'll get some dinner. We'll probably end up... Uh, everyone during the week kind of does their own thing. But when we're all together on the weekends, when we're all there, we all just sit around. We like to... Maybe kick around some ideas. We all love to laugh. Sunday dinner is always something that I look forward to. We had pasta vajol for Easter, which was really, really good. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah. Any thoughts? You guys were farting all like crazy, right? Oh, yeah. You're making oh, it seem yeah. like a nice, you know, family. I, I feel like there's mayhem usually, no? The, the, the oh, dynamic, well. you're asking the dynamic, and it's pretty much what you see yeah. in the videos. So that is our family. That's pretty much what we do all day. We do surround the day around sitting down at the family table. For me, I grew up at the family table. So for me, that's everything. So I've instilled that as much as I can in the boys, mm -hmm. where that is still the staple where we can all open up and talk and laugh and, yeah. and bitch and moan and whatever the thing is. And as long as that happens. So like the Sunday dinner is the most. Sunday dinner is very important. Sacred. To, to mm -hmm. come sit, put the phones down. Unless we're doing some filming or whatever, but put the phones down, relax, and they put and the phones on a tripod and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and they open up. <laughs> and, 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 and the thing is, it, it it just happens, it evolves. They open up, and sometimes they go back to being kids. Pierre said that so. Put the phones on a tripod and relax. Hi guys, it's just hit record. Said, I can see, I can see he said that before. <laughs> Ignore the camera. But <laughs> I'll I'll put it really bluntly. I'm the ringleader of chaos. Pierre is the one who kind of uh, brings everyone back to equilibrium. Nikki is uh, probably me as a girl in terms of the chaos. Linda never really got in that much trouble, sort of like Pierre, but she's the diva. My dad is, you know, the one who brings us all together, and my mom is the one who feeds you all, feeds us all, and takes care of us <laughs> and instills good morals. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. Pretty much. So yeah. how does Beautiful the content? Family. How does the content? Come into creation now. Is it like, all right, today, guys, 6 p.m., everybody better be home. We're How do you feel Pierre has, like, the clipboard? He's like, okay, <laughs> this is what I need from you. There this are, is what I need from you. There are 50 clipboards around the house. Oh, yeah. Pads, clipboards, toilet paper, wherever you have an idea, <laughs> on phones, right on anything. Napkin. And it's just remember this and remember that, and we got to do this and we got to do that. And, and a lot of it happens, and, and as it's happening, we're there filming it and and – we capture as much of it as we possibly can, and uh, and I think it's just never ending. It's just never yeah. ending. We, we probably so yeah, we do. That's where we come up with a the lot of our ideas. Perfect segue is what's next. What's next? Yeah. Okay. So uh, take that lead. What's next? I don't know. Probably world domination. <laughs> <laughs> I see the, 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 the card. So pinky in the brain is what. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you guys remember pinky in the brain? Or are you too young for that? I feel a little too young. I feel like uh, I've heard of that. What, it's is that like, with the dog? It was like two mice that no, okay. were uh, world domination. You, do you remember pinky? <laughs> no, oh my god! I yes, know. I know them now. The pinky in the brain. Yeah. The pinky. The bride cuts the cake. Yeah. The bride. Yes. Yeah, I remember. That. <laughs> yeah. We grew up like on the. We grew up like on the cusp of like the last great era of cartoons. Like I remember oh, me and Marco, yeah. we'd be watching like Cat Dog, like Rugrats. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Cat Dog was amazing. Cat Dog yeah. was so funny. Like even like Ren and Stimpy. Like they don't that. make them like that anymore. No, right? no they no. don't. That's so true. Absolutely not. The Cartoon Network was our jam too. We loved it. We never. I'm, te I'm Team Cartoon Network. Yeah, we were never well, Disney kids. after that documentary. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh yeah. I, how can anybody be <laughs> no, Team man. Nick? Terrible, bro. Yeah, I, I saw that it's the other day. I grew up I watching all those it. shows. It's crazy. No, it's just crazy. We're watching and all that's going on. Yeah, couldn't believe it. Well, what's funny? What, when that was not funny. That's a bad transition. <laughs> but uh, when I look at you guys, when Sabino says, "What's next?" You guys have matching outfits over here. I could definitely see you guys in like a, a TV show where you're casted as like high school or college guys. You know, it's funny you should just say the, the just the jacket alone just sparked the idea. Like you could be like the two uh, guys like causing wreaking like havoc. The two guys yeah. who peaked in high school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bullies. The bullies usually have the varsity jackets. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, so, I really do see us having like a reality show one day. Yeah, I see. Eventually. I see Pierre as like the starting quarterback, though. Like yeah, the C yeah, on yeah. the jacket. Yeah, just, yeah. just like a random B that has no meaning. You're giving me like big Chip Skylark vibes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a compliment. I need, I need to get my teeth whitened. Too, <laughs> could, could, could we put a, a patch on this jacket? Like, could we give him the C or no? Captain. Yeah, like, who yeah. could be the captain of Dallas? Yeah, family? who's the captain of the family over here? If we're gonna talk, out big out. Well, does he have? Does he have his varsity I, I, jacket too? Mine's, mine's uh, being shipped as we speak. Yeah, you gotta put yeah. a C on it then. Yeah, yeah. somebody's gotta have the C. His nickname yeah. used to be Coach. Yeah. That's what all my friends would call him. So there him we go. There's before a C Al Dente, he was an assistant soccer coach, and he was the best. He's the best guy around. He's the yeah, best exactly. coach around. So what's life like outside of content? What, what are you guys doing on your day to day? We're, this is probably the time of my life where I'm the most uh, strung thin in terms of having so many different responsibilities that don't tether together. So it's yeah. like, okay, I have to spend a day doing this, a yeah. day doing this. So uh, coming up with lesson plans and uh you know, grading papers and lectures for students, projects. Like, that takes a significant chunk of my time. So me and Pierre kind of delegate work to each other. We're like, okay, you handle the YouTube long form this week. I'll try to get some shorts. My dad is the one who's, he's our manager. He's contacting everyone, doing everything, like uh, coming up with scripts, uh, collaborations, all of that. He handles that. And so we're a good machine. Once yeah. we get the girls uh Invested a little bit more. So, so the this. girls are going to be ahead of the shipping, the f fulfillment. Let's of see. Our, That's uh, yet to be seen. Yeah, well, we'll see what happens. We got to give them some kind of role. Yeah, yeah. So they can't just be other the, the you know, the, they or? just can't be the divas, yeah. you know. It's hard. Well, we've been telling them. <laughs> We're like, you know, you got your. And nails we got to give them more collab posts. Week. Like they, they can't just be posting the the well lit. Photos. They got to do the. That's what we're they, telling. Them. They got to collab what, on the reels too. What are we doing yeah, here? Yeah, that's. We've been saying that. Or you say no tags, no collab, no tags. <laughs> yeah. Watch how. I'll, that's I'll, what I told. That's what I told them. <laughs> you give them a little bit, and then you take it away. <laughs> you know, it's funny because they really are. When they are involved, they are. It, it completes the whole picture. They give us, you know, their creativity and their energy and. 
everything works. It's just that it's hard to get everyone on the same wavelength. That's yeah, of course. six people, you know, that have to be completely uh, synergized, like mm-hmm. on the knowing what the overall outcome should be. Yeah. And so, you know, they're more invested in their nails and eyelashes. So it's kind of, <laughs> it's they kind are funny of, though. Yeah. They are very funny. Yeah, they, they are really yeah. funny. It works when, when you guys are all together, it works. Like there are times believe. when we're all together and I just, like lean back and watch them go, and yeah, I just sit funny. there and, and just la- I'm like, wow, I can't believe the stuff that they're doing, the stuff that they're saying, how funny it is, how in in sync they are, in sync, and uh, you know, it's just it's just it's really really great to watch. Yeah, sometimes the dynamic is always we all have a good time, we laugh. Sometimes it's all great. Sometimes it's. Uh, my sisters, they, they like to fight a lot with each other. Me and Marco, we'll, we'll argue, like, like what, twice a year. And, uh-huh. they'll, and it'll last all of three minutes. Yeah. They will fight over the smallest, dumbest thing <laughs> that you probably wouldn't even give, like, three seconds of your time. So, but that's how it is in an Italian family. Yeah. The girls are the princess, and the boys go yeah. get a job. Sometimes I... <laughs> sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> sometimes uh, I like to, they'll just be fighting, and I'll be like... Go get the camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll be yeah. like, <laughs> and, and I'll be like, and she stole yeah. your shirt. Yeah, sense it. Yeah. Pretend it's not there. Yeah. <laughs> and there it'll was, add more wood to the fire, too. Yeah, exactly. Wait, there like, was uh, one time we were at dinner, and Pierre noticed that one of them was wearing the other one's clothes. And before you knew it, the camera was out, and then he interjected it. Yeah. And it takes all, nothing. It, it takes nothing. It's, it's, and, then they, and then he just sat there and smiled while they were screaming at each yeah. other. It's, it's basically... Awesome. It's basically a big wooden barn soaked in gasoline. All you just need is a match. All right. Nice. Yeah. That's Welcome pretty to much the world of is. content. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder how they're going to feel being referred to as a big wooden barn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll go over well. Yeah. Well, I got to ask. There's another one in the in the mix now. Is that a real thing? Oh, or Christina? What? Yeah, how's Christina? Was, is she so, actually your girlfriend? Or Yeah, she was, I knew her from a long time ago. Um, she messaged me kind of recently. Uh, you know, to hang out. And I was like, why don't you ask Linda to hang out? Because I could see you then and it would make sense. And it wouldn't be like, oh, like, what is she doing here? And so, like, that's kind of how it started. Did you have and the blessing ever or no? <laughs> you have the blessing now? No, no. no. They've never no. locked it up for us. No, no. They, Your they've sisters all... should be doing that for you, by the way. They I'm should. Saying. That's what we've been saying <laughs> that's for what years. I, that's what but saying. if it's tough, though. These are, team are they close friends? Were they close friends prior? They, or just like, you know, yeah, amicable. Not, not like best cheered, friends. Right? Yeah, they yeah. cheered and they were both like high up in cheer. So like they yeah. both took it serious. They, they were captains. And uh, so, you know, it, I introduced her to like everything that we're doing now. And, uh, you know, it, it started so casual, like, okay, like we're not looking for anything. I had a really cynical view of relationships. I was like, if even 20% of my mental capacity is being taken up by someone else, like that's going to change the outcome of my life. And like, that's, that's kind of a harsh way to look at it. But during, you guys know what it's like during the building process of your business, like you're on a mission, nothing else matters. And she kind of helped me realize uh, you could have both. You could have both. And that I'll always be grateful for her showing me that. And now it's, you know, she's, helping me out. We do some fun stuff together. It's still casual in the sense that like, we're not actually married, but yeah. you know, uh, dang with purpose though. Yeah, it was, it, she's a good kid. Man, that was, yeah. that was well said. That's well such said. a great, that like nice. that, that's such yeah. a great dad thing to say. She's a good kid. She's yeah. a good kid. <laughs> yeah, she's a good kid. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, I'll, that's how I would explain everything. <laughs> well, look, in an kid. Italian family, if somebody comes in and, and you know, it doesn't add or, or you feel that they could be a detriment. You know how that happens. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. The, there's no shit. There's no hiding it. Do you a remember? Bu- yeah. yeah. There's no hiding it, but she's a good kid. I like, we all like her. We all really like her. Mom at first was like, is she a clout chaser? Yeah. <laughs> she's like, trying to like, good question. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's you, a fair, and, and today's day and age and doing what you guys are doing. That's a fair question. Yeah. You guys know what it's like. You get those messages where you just know you're like, yeah. all right. Like, uh, of course. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just, being able to sift through like what's real and what's not. Mm-hmm. And it started innocently and now it's in a place where, you know, it's, it's something good that came along with what we were doing. And so I, I see it as like a plus. 
I love it, awesome. guys. Awesome. What else do you guys want to plug in before we go? I don't know. I mean, we Maybe. wrote down some questions, and if you want to touch on some subjects, your website's coming. Oh yeah, yeah actually, we'll have a website. We're uh-huh. actually uh, for the first time ever, we are going to have our own website with exclusive content, merch, awesome. trivia, biographies, everything that someone would need if they wanted to be invested in Saucy TV. So that's awesome. coming out awesome. later this year. Yeah. Good luck with that. Thank, Thank you. Do you, you guys don't. do ring camera content? I feel like a lot of people have been doing that lately. Like I planning things that. on purpose. That's kind of funny. Yeah. I, I've seen some of that. That is yeah. funny. We should try that. Just because content is endless, you know, just to give you another yeah. idea. We had him talk <laughs> this through guy the, did the Matrix getting oh, in there. I was trying to get in there, but I'm moving it. <laughs> he did not even touch it. But guys, listen, thank you so much for coming in today. It's been an absolute pleasure sitting down with you guys, wishing you nothing but the best. And we have a lot going together. It's going to be a nice relationship. The family's back together for once. So <laughs> thank you guys so much. It. Let's go. Abandanza. Thank you guys for driving all the way here again. Of yeah, course. No Peace your deal. Thanks. <laughs> That's right. Say it loud and proud. Bon <laughs> <laughs>